Hi, learning, sharing, and growing. What the last video drama triangle? I hope you enjoy it. I always love sketching. Bring sketch and ideas and music and sun and humor together. I think it's a very interesting format to deliver a message. And I added in during addition. So to make ideas, localize the idea, I hope it makes a lot more sense to you. And this week, I'd like to share with you another topic called two actions to boost your self-confidence. I often ask people in the class, how many of you are lack of self-confidence? 90% of people put up their hand. And today, I'd like to share with you two important ideas or two actions to boost your self-confidence. Action number one, be yourself. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Action number two, be self-confident. Action number one, be yourself. One dash one. Photoshop your self-image. You have an image. What do you think about yourself? If it doesn't look so good, Photoshop it, change it, craft it to the format, to the look, to the feel that you want. 1-2, get to know yourself. We did profile, bird profiling. There are other good profiling tools out there. Do it. Get to know yourself better. Be yourself in different circles, different frame, different situation. From workplace, to your family, social gathering, even social media, religious body. Do you fit yourself into that frame, into that box? Do you change just to fit into the people? Do you be and not being yourself just to please others? That bring me to the third point, 1-3, stop pleasing others. We please others by downgrading ourselves, by not being ourselves, and we are not happy. I mean, plus maybe your bosses and your spouse. But other than that, stop pleasing others. One, that's four. Compare with yourself, not others. How did you do last year, six months ago, one month ago? Did you improve? Compare with yourself. You can have mentor. You can have someone that you look upon to, but not comparing with them. Compare with yourself. So action number one, be yourself. Action number two, be self-confidence. Two dash one, think and speak positively. Thinking and speaking positively. I do have a small module that talk about how and what we speak to ourselves. There's something I might cover in the futures. So think and speak positively all the time, or most of the time at least. Two dash two, over prepare in your work and life. Preparations. When I speak in a speaking engagement, for example, an hour, I'm, I always over prepare. I can speak for three hours if I need to in an hour, one hour speaking engagements. Over prepare in your work and life. Two dash three, increase your competency, your knowledge and skills. Read. No, no, I'm not talking about Facebook. Facebook it is the most read book in the world. Read book. We don't read enough or we don't read at all. And do you read? Because reading enhances our knowledge, our mind. When this change, the way we perceive the world, people, get situation, difficulties, challenges, it changes. That it really helps us to work on the area of self-confidence. And the last one, 2-4, exercise. Do you exercise? <laughs> Many of us sign up for the gym membership and stop going. We buy books about exercise and diet. We didn't do much about it. We watch YouTube to do exercise. That is only, the only part of exercise we do, watching YouTube. <laughs> do actual exercise. Because exercise, when you sweat out, it actually releases a form of chemical called endorphins. It helps us to boost our motivations, how good we feel about ourselves. Eventually, it actually helps us to improve our self-confidence. And that's all I'd like to share with you this week. And until I see you next week, thank you. Bye.